you've been lusting after a Leica but you've been intimidated by both the price and the type of camera you want, then maybe this model is the one for you. This is a first look at the Leica T. I'm Alexi Savides for CNET. Like a whole bunch of other Leica models that have come before it, this one has premium quality as the name of the game. It's hewn from 1.2 kilograms of pure aluminium and it takes another 45 minutes to polish this by hand, resulting in a really nice smooth finish and it's a unibody design. So basically the only parts that are added onto it are the pop-up flash and the two control dials at the top, as well as a 3.7 inch touchscreen at the back and a little flap here for inserting your memory cards. Inside the Leica T, it is a brand new mirrorless interchangeable lens system, including a brand new lens mount, which is a T mount. If you have old Leica M lenses, you can also get an adapter and this will also let you use them easily. Also on the outside, as I mentioned, it's very simple. There's no real other physical buttons apart from your shutter button, your power button, these two control dials, and a simple video recording button. Apart from the controls on the top of the camera, all of your interactions with the Leica T happens through the touchscreen. Fortunately, it's super responsive and really easy to use. First up at the top here on the right, we have a selection of your modes, including program, full manual and aperture and shutter priority. You also have a couple of scene modes to choose from as well, if you just like to keep it on automatic. Going back, just hit the back button, which as you saw is nice and simple. The rest of your controls are found within this camera icon here. So this includes things like your shooting resolution, your exposure compensation, white balance, Wi-Fi control, and heat small. If you don't like the way this menu has been set up though, you can do it totally customized to your liking. You just need to hit the screwdriver and wrench icon up here, press and hold and drag over here, and you'll find that it shows up on the main menu. Now that one that was already there, but we'll add another one that wasn't there, such as, scroll down. Video resolution, press and hold, drag over here, we'll hit back, go back into the menu. We'll find that video resolution has been placed right here. Same thing for removing. If you wanna get rid of things, say like your AF mode, hit and drag and it's all gone. So nice and simple to use, really easy to customize as well. The screen itself, super bright, super easy to use, as I mentioned. And if you wanna go into playback mode, that one is quite hard to find because there is no actual physical playback button. I'll give you a hint. You just simply drag from the top and it goes into the latest photo. And you can just interact with the camera just like any other smartphone, tablet device that you're used to. Scrolling back and forth if you wanna zoom in, simple, just pinch to zoom and move around like so. The lens is an 18 to 56 millimeter lens. It's not particularly fast. It's f3.5 to 5.6. So it's pretty much a standard kit lens and it pretty much costs the same as the Leica T body itself. A little part of me dies inside knowing that I'm paying the same amount for a kit lens as the body, but it is Leica and there is obviously no compromise when it comes to image quality. And that comes through in a lot of the test shots that I've been taking. Images are super sharp. It is beautiful, beautiful bokeh. So that out of focus characteristic is absolutely gorgeous. Colors are vibrant as well. The other thing I wanted to talk to you quickly about on the Leica T is there is a little electronic viewfinder. This is an optional extra attachment, but it's nice and bright. And obviously if you're using it in outdoor situations, this is the thing you're gonna to want to invest in. Plus it gives you GPS control as well. And finally on the sides, the Leica locking system is pretty ingenious, I have to say. Rather than having to fiddle around with threading those camera straps, all you need to do is just click and unlock the strap and it doesn't fall out. This has been a first look at the Leica T. Stay tuned to CNET very soon for a full review.